Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today we're going to try and discover when a six iron isn't a six iron. You'll find out in a minute. So that's an interesting question. When is a six iron not a six iron? Well, the reason I've actually said that is back in 1982, when I was a first year trainee at Victoria Golf Club, I had a six iron that had 36 degrees of loft. My current six iron, my Mizuno MP54, my current loft of my six iron is 30 degrees. So it is six degrees stronger. That's two clubs stronger. So that's almost the equivalent of my four iron back in 1982. So I'm hitting a six iron now that was a four iron back in 1982. So my six iron really isn't a six iron. And that's what's happened with the modern clubs. And some of the types of clubs you can get out there have even stronger lofts than what this is. So as the clubs have got stronger and stronger over the years, it's actually created some gaps in the set makeup. So back in 1982, I had a pit, my pitching wedge was 52 degrees. My current pitching wedge is 46 degrees, so there's six degrees difference. It's almost an eight iron. Not quite, but it's, it's close. So as the clubs have shifted down, what's happened is that we've had to create some more golf clubs to try and give you some better distance control. So with my pitching wedge basically being an eight or a nine iron, my sand wedge is back then is now my pitching wedge. We've got to create some other clubs. So we've got gap wedges these days, we've got lob wedges, and that's created the hole. Then at the other end of the bag, my current three iron is 21 degrees. Back in 1982, that was my two iron. So you know, that's one degree difference. But you get to the stage where you have a three iron at 21 degrees, most people can't get a three iron in the air, or even a four iron in the air for that matter. Five irons seems to be the tipping point where most people can get a five iron in the air. It might fade a bit, but it's a, and a bit harder to control, but they can get it in the air. So now with modern technology, we actually have hybrid golf clubs. So hybrid golf clubs, and this particular one uh, is a Titleist, and it's 17 and a half degrees of loft. So that was less loft than what my old one iron was back in 1982. But I know which one I find easier to get in the air and it's not my one iron from 1982, even though it's got half a degree more loft. The design of the golf club is to get the ball up in the air. So it's not just loft, it's got a bigger, a bigger head, it uh, tapers down at the back, which lowers the center of gravity. The lower the center of gravity, the easier it is to get the golf ball in the air. An iron, doesn't have a low center of gravity. It's got some weight down the bottom here, but not as much as what they can have here. And that lower profile where the, they cut it away down low makes it really easy to get it up in the air. So when you're hitting a three iron uh, or, a, or a two iron, generally you want it to finish on the green. So if you remember the good old days when you were hitting two and three irons, the ball would not stop on the green if you hit it on the green. It was coming in so low. These are designed to come in from a higher angle and they land softer and still get it on the green. So that's just something to be aware of. Uh, when, when I, a couple of years ago, when Bubba Watson won the uh, US Masters, he hit a gap wedge into the uh, 13th hole in the last round. And, it, and I was thinking, wow, a gap wedge into a par five. Now, if we translate that back to what we, well, we were all using in 82, he hit the equivalent of an eight iron into that green. Now, it wasn't uncommon for guys to hit six iron into that green, so you know, certainly other equipment changes like drivers, uh, golf balls. The fact that they actually mow fairways now with greens mowers, not fairway mowers, uh, gives you a lot more run. So uh, all of these things combined help to produce different distance. But I just thought it was an interesting idea to talk about how clubs have changed from 1982 to uh, the year 2015. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, The Golf Doctor. If you like my videos, you can subscribe by uh, hitting the subscribe button. You can uh, check out further information on my Facebook page 
or my Twitter page. You can also share these videos with your friend by hitting the share button and you can also look at a video on how to share. I'll put a link up there.